Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a love token, baby. Love tokens are for the collective, so they're for all of us. Love tokens is a raw read, so nothing is uh, laid out. However, I did pre-shuffle um, to try to move things along a bit. Um, you know, I watch YouTube too, so honestly, sometimes I don't like to sit through two and three minutes of riff rant before they actually get to the card. So, a um, couple of things and then we'll get started. One is thank you each and every one of you new subscribers. Welcome. Um, I appreciate all of your love, all of your comments. Uh, your likes, your shares, subscribes, everything. I, I just really, really do. I appreciate your presence um, on my channel. Uh, another thing is um, cross watchers. Listen, I, I love you too. You know I'm a snitch though, okay? Listen, if you're going through a problem within your relationship or in your past relationship or you're cross-watching on someone that you're beefing with in some way, shape, or form, and that sign has a positive read, let it go. Because the person that you're dealing with just might not be in the energy of that moment. Remember, this is general. This is for you know, uh, thousands, you know what I'm saying? Whoever's listening. So, um, you know, just because that person and you aren't, you know, that person not acting right to you, you know, at that time in that sun sign, you know, they also have moon, they have Venus. They could be, you know, pulling energy from, you could be pulling energy from, uh, different signs. Um, also, uh, it's a general read that read might not just resonate with your person. So, telling me off about, you know, what they did to you and how your person don't match that sign for that read is not going to change that, guys. All right? Remember, you're cross-watching. You're spying. So you're supposed to be sneaky spying. You can't be commenting like, no, he da 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 You know, be, yeah, come on. Let, let, let him live. All right? Um, and also, if you, you know, trying to put out some mojo... You know, keep in mind, uh, again, this is a general read. There's other signs, and karma always catches up with all of us. And I'm saying us because I'm including me, too. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, another thing. There is somebody that's uh, tying in to one of these signs. And I wanted to make this announcement on the love token because I really don't want to single out this individual zodiac. You are an empath. You have guides. You are playing with your power and sending signals about your feet. I am not going to acknowledge that while I'm reading. I am not going to talk about your fungus while I'm reading just because you're trying to make a joke to see if I'm legit. You understand? I hear you. But I don't want to talk about your toes. We talking about the cards. You want to address problems with your toes? Go to a foot doctor. You know, buy some cream. All right? But don't play with people's lives. The people tune into uh, these reads uh, for inspiration, um, for a guidance, uh, you know, for entertainment. You understand what I'm saying? But my form of entertainment with the tarot is not to talk about the fungus of your feet. So please, stop. Okay? Um... I think that's it, guys. Let's get popping. All right. Again, everything is pre-shuffled. I asked for a collective love token, uh, past, present, future, and problem. All right? I think I want to do a straight spread today. I haven't done one in a while. Oh, and I came out reverse. You know I do not do a reverse deck. So let me just take a peek here. Oh, that one card is. I got to eat it. All right. Damn it. I hate eating. No, did I turn it over? I turned it over wrong. All right. I got to see, y'all. You know, I don't do reversals. I don't start with them anyway. I'll read it if it pops, but I don't start with it. Uh, past energy, financial and material changes. Present, material and spiritual prosperity. A lot of action here. Fire, future energy, power, problem, solar plexus, chakra. God darn it. Under the deck, solitude. All right. 
Well, the coin looks good. The mindset looks good. <sighs> so, because this is a love token, off the bat, I'm not seeing the love interest. So, it looks like the collective is focusing on self. All right? You loving you. I love the crap out of me, too. I ain't lying. Love yourself. Financial and uh, material changes. Um, some separations here, uh, which are going to change finances. Some for the worse, some for the better. Some are just uh, need to adjust, okay, because of the separation. You're separating responsibilities. You're separating uh, households. You're separating bills. Um, yeah. A lot, lot, a lot of finalization. Some finalization I'm picking up here. Um, this is an action card. It's uh, tied to fire, Leo Aries Sag. Um, but again, this is collective and it's general. It can be for any sign. Please take what resonates for you. Leave the rest, okay? Um, Earth, you're picky right now. Definitely picky. But you're entitled. I'm going to go back to that. I see you picky on that one. Material and uh, spiritual prosperity. Also action oriented. Now this is someone looking out into um, the fruits of their labor. You know, seeing the accolades. Seeing physical development of their hard work. The, the, the end result. You know, completion. Okay. Uh, present energy, absolutely friggin' wonderful. Yes. Power, equivalent to uh, strength and rider tarot. Um, courage, um, determination, you know, all of the above. The strength, obviously, you know what I mean? Um, also, uh, um, Risk taking, you, you know what I'm saying? Like fearless, 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 fearless energy. I like, I like, I like a lot. Now, coming up as a problem, uh, solar plexus chakra. Uh, this is, I believe, fire. Yeah, uh, actually, Aries energy. Um, you can, I can, is what it would be depict I can I it, but because it's in the problem area it's basically saying I can't so there's a lack of confidence for a lot of the masses a lack of um you know uh belief in yourself or belief um in the end result which is actually the opposite of that so because this is in your future energy it's mental conflict that's slowing you down. You understand what I'm saying? It's not that it's, you don't have the strength, tools, and determination to get whatever the, you, you're trying to accomplish done. Because I know 2020 just stepped in. New goals are set. New um, boards are made for the people that make those, uh, what do you call, uh, visual, visual boards. Okay? Um... But it's almost as if some of you are looking at your board and say, damn, how am I going to do that? I don't know if I could do that by then, but you know what? I'm going to try. I'm not going to change it. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Um, doubt. A lot of doubt. But you do have it. Now, bottom of the deck, solitude. Going within. Okay? Um, hermit mode. You know what I mean? Trying to get yourself together. You know? There's nothing wrong with getting to know yourself when you're in transition. And I think that all signs go through some type of transition, even if it's not astrological when a year turns. Because it's just, um, it's just our, uh, our cultural way of life. You know what I'm saying? To do New Year's resolutions because it's a new year. So 
things that you want to start, I'm going to do that January 1st. I'm going to start the new year. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that January 1st. It's like a cultural thing. So for this, it's not really sign related. I'm not picking up. You understand? This is basically the mass is just saying, you know what? I wanted to work on that anyway. So this year I'm going to focus on this. And you're actually going within and uh, doing homework and research. See the book? To see what you need to do uh, to accomplish your goal. Okay, no problem. Perfect. Under that, bottom of the deck, hope. Hope. You see that? Beautiful. That's your star. That's your spiritual journey. Your your um, spiritual transformation. Your spiritual enlightenment. I love it. So that top, that solitude is going to pay off. It's definitely going to pay off. So when they're calling you, like, you know, you coming out? And you say, no, not this time. It looks like it's going to pay off. Even if um, you have no alternate plans, you just don't want to be bothered. You might just, you know, miss or, or um, how can I say this? You might miss a bullet by, you know, not picking up somebody's energy that's going to be in the space that they're inviting you to. You understand what I'm saying? Because you don't really don't need no extra drama right now. Right now, everybody's, uh, again, looking for that fresh new start. But some of you are really, really freaking fragile, which is probably why uh, power is coming up in the future energy. But let's see what the tarot says. Let's get some clarification and also maybe call out some signs. Financial and material changes for the love token of the collective. Please clarify. Thank you. Whoa, look at that. Hello? Death. New beginnings. Scorpionic energy. I told you. A lot of separations. A lot of separations right now. Be encouraged, okay? Definitely be encouraged because uh, those of you who are going through separation, you know that that transition is hard. However, um, I feel that you know that it's necessary. Okay. And the divine is saying it's it was necessary. So even if you didn't um, make that move on your own, it was going to be made for you. You know, but sometimes it's just easier to deal with when you when you do it, because then you have you feel like you in any way you, we think we have control, even though we really don't. But we think we do, you know, because, you know, keep in mind, God gives us free will. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, but death, you know, scorpionic energy, um, new beginnings, um, uh, again, a fresh start, ground zero. Starting from ground zero. Virgos, you are really sticking out to me that you're being picky with something. What are you picking at? Hold on. Why is that so important? I want to talk about this scorpion energy. Why is, uh, what is Virgo uh, pointing at? The Wheel of Fortune. Virgos, um, you're popping out to me uh, uh, because you're picking something or pointing to something a new direction maybe um wheel of fortune is clarifying that uh what you know is uh uh the wheel turning in your favor it's a uh, uh, cycles changing you stepping out on a whim you have something going on so i just wanted one clarifier and i want to deal with the collective right now because I can't let you take over this read. I might have to do a bonus for you. Uh, tell me about death, please. Clarify this death card. Thank you. This one. This one. Wow. You see that? You look. It looks like your doors are closing, but actually you have others opening. All these damn options. After this situation ends, your options are going to be amazing. You're going to have new opportunities, uh, new doors opening, um, new help coming in. Um, where it looks like, you know, at one point you had no, no, no choice. You had no, no way out. Now you're going to have uh, 
multiple choices. You, you understand what I'm saying? Beautiful. I love it. And again, we're on past energy because you are completed this cycle. Tell me about this Seven of Cups, please. Seven of Cups, please. Yeah, for water. Thank you. All right, we have um, Six of Wands in reverse. Now, you know, this is uh, the celebration. This is the accolades. This is, you know, the party. This is um, completion, you know. Uh, but in the reverse, it's uh, the lack. So it looks like the masses don't agree with your decision. Um, water energy here. Water and fire. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sag. Yeah, um, people who are going through the separation, it looks like the, uh, the masses, your fans, your, your um, not fans, your friends and family maybe are not agreeing with you. Or there's a family member, the matriarch actually of the family, that, uh, yeah, they're saying that they don't agree with your, your decision to either separate or, yeah, it's definitely a separation. I'm sorry, I was, I was going to say to work it out, but th this is definitely a separation. Tell me more about this past, thank you. Yeah. You're walking away from um, the foolishness, the miscommunication, the lies, the deceit, the, the mind games, the trickery from everyone. It's not even just your partner. It was their, 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 their family. Like, why would y'all want to keep me down just to lift this person up because they're blood tied when wrong is wrong? Let me have one more on this past energy. We can move on from that. King of Cups. Hmm. In reverse. Now, you know, this king is... Um, first of all, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This, this king is uh, uh, repressed. This king is um, self-indulging. Okay, but if you're picking up this energy, this is uh, you choosing yourself, you speaking out, you um, knowing your worth. You're no longer um, massing the problem, masking the problem, you're saying? All right, I'm going to say it in my words because I'm not getting that. Um, sugar coating shit, okay? We're not doing that no more. You you, you know, it, it, you, something is funky and you lighting a candle and you spraying and you lighting, you know, this and that and you got this kind of smoke or whatever. It's still, it, it you know, when, when, it, when it dissipates, it still stink. We're not doing that no more. No, we just actually getting rid of this whole situation, period. Which is that, that separation. Because it was funky. That shit was funky. Material, spiritual, prosperity. Thank you. Wow. Look at that. Look at that movement. Look at that movement. Look at that movement. You separated yourself. Because remember, that was all past energy. So you separated yourself moving on to greatness. Moving on to stability moving on to the knowing of your value of your worth you know realizing that you're better off oh my goodness uh earth energy virgo taurus capricorn i love it tell me more about this five of pentacles thank you god darn and you got it baby you got it so it looks like this love token is going to be geared towards people who are dealing with separation, just to let you guys know and give you a heads up. All right. And that you got it. Nine of Cups. This is, you have everything that you want except uh, that partner. You know, this is when you're in a position that, all right, the home life is good. The family is good. Um, I'm feeling good about myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good spiritually. Um, right now I'm just looking for somebody to share it with. 
This is the Nine of Cups energy, all right? Boom and pow. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups present energy for the collective. Tell me more, please. Thank you. Yeah, because you walked away. Look at that. And you walked away from years. Damn. I felt that. All those years. And it didn't even matter. Like you thought this was like impossible. Where you are today, you thought it, would, it, it, it wouldn't be possible. Like it was completely impossible. So you kept, st you, you stuck around and you stuck around and you stuck around for years. And you're looking at yourself today like, damn, why didn't I do this years ago? Because your success happened so fast. And at one point you just didn't see it. And then when you ended that situation, the, the, it was just a, a quick rise to the top. Go on, baby. Give me all you got. Give me all you got. <laughs> I love it. Tell me about power. Thank you. Okay, we have a two of pentacles and the sun. Awesome sauce. This is clarifying your courage, your strength, your power. Okay. So, um, you're going to have the strength to make the choice to obtain your happiness. All right. You're going to, <laughs> you have the strength. You're going to have the strength. This is future energy. All right. And again, this is a love token. And love tokens are timeless. So let the, the message find you when you need it. You, you know what I'm saying? But it looks like what's coming is a lot of strength, a divine strength, a spiritual strength, uh, uh, uplifting, uh, encouragement. You understand? You're going to um, uh, take risks. You, you know, you're going to take risks. You're going to juggle it for a minute. But end up right where you want to be, in bliss, because the sun energy is bliss. It's like a, um, it's not just happiness. It's more like um, child love, like a young love. You know, you ain't no love like young. God darn, oh. Ah, young love, I love it, I love it. All right, anyway, so it's going to be like that little giddy love that, you know, you hang up first, you hang up first on the phone, you know, um, check yes or no, you know, uh, do you like me, you know, in the box, you know, that kind of giddy love, you know, something that didn't have all the responsibilities tied to relationships today, you know, just for once, you know, when, when it, the, your cares as a child is just literally eat, sleep, shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go to school when you're a child, you know, you ain't worried about the bills and the kids and the, the in-laws and family members getting on your nerves and, you know, bringing their drama to your, your peace you know, breaking, trying to, or trying to break your peace, your peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? Before all of that happened in your life, there was a time when you just embraced and enjoyed life, just the existence of, of it, you know? And that's what you're moving towards. And I, I, I really can't express enough uh, how good this feels how good like it's giving me goosebumps right now seriously tell me about this thank you oh it's a magician yay <laughs> so you know magician is all signs magician is uh all aspects of tarot with wine with pinnacles uh swords and cups so um again Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, there'll be some, if this is what you're manifesting, it, it'll be obtained. But if the magician is the one that uh, you're moving towards, awesome frigging sauce. I'm going to tell you why. The magician conforms. See, you have spent so many years conforming to someone else and uh, accommodating someone else. To you lost yourself okay so you went through the separation and it's been uh, about a year um, since you've actually grasped onto the possibility of even entertaining 
um, any, you know, adult company. You understand what I'm saying? Um, because you've been working on yourself. But the person that's coming now into your energy is going to actually conform to you. Because it's no longer about, you know, what you have to do for this person. You know, they like it like this. They like it over here. I got to put this. I got to make this. Oh, no, nope, that's too spicy. I can't put that in there knowing you like spicy. Like, But this person is going to say, what, would, what can I do for you? What would you like? I want what you want. You ain't even going to know what to do with that. <laughs> they can't be too soft, though, you know. <laughs> they can't be too, just don't be too soft, magician. You know, we don't want to run all over you. Magician, tell me more, please. Tell me more about this magician. Thank you. Ooh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. So they coming with the boomstick. I love it. You know I love the boomstick. Come on now. But Knight of Wands is a fly-by-night night. You know, the Knight of Wands will wine you, dine you, and make you feel like a queen. And the next morning, act like they don't know you. So be mindful of that, okay? That might be why this person, this magician, might remind you of that childlike love because it's a night. You know, back at a time when you wasn't worried about getting married. You was just out having fun. Like, you know what I'm saying? You were out enjoying your life. Enjoying life. Like, it's my life. I'm going out. You, you know, I ain't worried about that. Let me have one more on this. Thank you. You gave me two more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got some drama. They definitely got some drama. But... I don't see, you know, to be honest, no marriage out here. I don't see you looking to get remarried, like, right away. But shoot, take that night. Take that one night, the one little couple nights. Enjoy. Just sometimes you just need a reminder of the fun. Sometimes you just really just need, if you go out and have a nice time with somebody with no ties, no titles, no uh, commitments, you know, it's not about that. It's just about you having fun. They want to have fun. Y'all have fun together. No, I'm not talking about in bed. Yes, I did say the boomstick, but I can talk about other things than the boomstick. You know, I mean, give me some kind of credit, y'all. You know, I mean, dinner, dancing, movie, whatever. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, somebody is just going to remind you of pure um, fun. You, you know, pure fun. But just be careful because they smooth and they got the boomstick. Or you got the boomstick and they coming for it. This ain't gender here. Come on now. You know this is all energy. But yeah, they got some drama. They're not going to give you all, uh, you know, the information up front. They got some drama that they're dealing with. So just be mindful. All right. I'm not saying not go out and have a good time. I'm saying go out and have a good time and don't say, um, I want to get married. No, just go out and have a damn good time, period. Wheel of Fortune, this damn Virgo energy. The hell y'all got going on? You playing with fire. I'm going to tell you that. You playing with fire. And I don't like it. Let me have one on this Wheel of Fortune. Put it, thank you. Damn Virgos. You gave me three. Six of Wands, Page of Cups, Strength. This is a lot of the positive, positive, positive uh, motion. Why does it feel so risky? Six of Wands. Okay, um, guys, you know Six of Wands, we just saw it. You know, this is a celebration, okay? Uh, recognition, okay? Uh, Page of Cups, this is a message. This is a love token. Nothing big. You know what I'm saying? A text, a call, a coffee. You know what I mean? Um, nothing major, okay? 
of somebody reaching out, giving you the cup of love because you've been doing your thing. Um, strength, you know, is the, the same thing you already uh, have in the collective, the courage, the uh, knowledge, the risk taking. So maybe you're going off to take a chance on somebody that has caught your eye and this person is well known. Why does it seem so risky? Why does it why is it dangerous? Are they a friend of a friend? Spirit saying it's a friend of a friend. Are you Virgo? Stop! Don't do that. Nasty asses. You like the friend of a friend? Oh, tell me more. Wait a minute, wait. I got I got come on, come on, come on. Come on. I need one more. Come on. Thank you. Cancer energy, the chariot. Queen of Cups, water energy. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Ooh, la la. Yeah. Uh, somebody is full of emotion. They are feeling it deeply. And you're moving forward or they're moving forward to you. And I'm picking up the friend of a friend. All right, Virgos, I'm not going to let you take over this read. But um, people who are dealing with Virgos, Virgos, yeah, watch them. Because somebody else is watching them. Either Virgos are watching somebody or somebody's watching Virgo. And it's a clusterfuck. It's friends of friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's inappropriate. Well, in the, I don't know. You know, people do their own thing. You know what I mean? I can't judge. I'm just saying, in my eyes, I would never date the friend of my friend. You know? Um, the the mate or ex ex of my friend. The, my friend's ex or my friend's current. I mean, period. Uh, see, yeah, that's a clusterfuck. I might have to do a sidebar. I mean, a um, bonus for y'all. Nasty asses. Solar plexus chakra. Why is this a problem for the collective? Solar plexus chakra, please, for the collective. Thank you. Ooh, three of cups and a three of pentacles. This is third party all over the place. There's too many people involved, too many family members, too many friends, too many people in your business. Maybe telling you you can't. Like I said before, I felt like it was somebody that didn't agree with your separation. And that's probably why you had to go to solitude because you had to do what was right for you. Wow, I am so sorry that you don't have the support that you absolutely freaking deserve for loving yourself. I'm going to give it to you. You do the damn thing. I don't care what sign you are. If you feel like you're making a move in your life that is going to edify you and your relationship with the divine and you're doing the best for you and your family, your kids, do the damn thing. You hear me? And don't let nobody tell you different. Nixon, why are these people against? They don't agree with your choice. Three of Wands. Fire energy. Hmm. I mean, they're jealous? Because this is rewards. And you had the Six of Wands. Again, rewards. You had the five of uh, pentacles in reverse with the nine of cups, rewards. They're hating. <gasps> you mother suckers. They hating on, how in the cluster? Why are they hating on you? Knight of swords, uh, air energy, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, 
they're determined to, I don't know, they're, they're, this is determined. You see how fast the, the horse going? I mean, they, they're determined. They're determined to turn this thing around to make you go back or to change your mind. To change your mind. Huh. They're determined to change your mind. But the question was, why? Tell me why, spirit. Please tell me. Thank you. Hangman energy. Somehow, your separation is affecting them. And I don't know why. You know your life. So, either, you know, financially or um, their home life. Like, if y'all separated homes, if somebody got put out, they wouldn't stay with this person. So, now this person trying to get y'all back together because they don't want them in their house no more. You understand what I'm saying? Or, it, again, financially, you left, so now this person, your partner is maybe struggling and getting help from this person that is like, look, I don't have it. You need to go home. Like, you understand what I'm saying? They looking at it like and for the benefit of them as opposed to the benefit of you. Shame. Shame. Shame, shame, shame on that person. And you know who it is. It's definitely a matriarch. And it's def it's a family member. Somebody who, if they're not blood, blood would make a difference if something happened to them um, because they're considered family. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes blood don't matter. Family is family. They're loved like family. They're respected like family. There's, it's definitely somebody your partner respects. And you respect or respected. Hmm. Herman again, bottom of the deck. Yeah. You walking away from all of this ish. You said, look, I'm blowing this joint. You know, the hermit has been through and put in a lot of time and effort. But they came out much wiser, enlightened. Um, Virgo energy again. Hmm. Huh. All right, y'all. Huh. <sighs> well, I'm sorry again that you don't have the support that you absolutely freaking deserve just to love yourself. I wish you all of the best. Um, you have my support. You have my, um, encouragement and yeah, all of that. Do it. Just do it. Go for it. Love yourself. Live your life. You know what I mean? Have some fun. If that nine of wands come up, go ahead out. So what? Just don't fall in love. Like, not yet. <laughs> because they're a magician, remember? They're going to take you back to that childlike love. You understand? Don't forget that. Don't forget that. And you're going to toss about it like, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Remember you had the two of pentacles but this person has stuff going on and what you don't want is to walk after all those years you leave all that mess behind just to have a whole new pile of the same shit just in a different bowl like you know what i'm saying we ain't eating shit no more we ain't doing that spirit what final messages do you have for the collective on this read thank you thank you goodness okay final messages please for the collective on this Final messages, please. Thank you. Okay. We're going to take that, and then we're going to that, and that's enough. Damn it, shoot. All right. Let's see what we have, guys. Shit is going down with your job. I think Gemini uh, had a lot of stuff going down with their job. Reevaluate. Change your perspective or fucking quit. Don't quit before you get another job. And uh, Gemini's, you might want to check out your read because I think your boss or your co-worker was hating on you. Uh, put the effing phone down. Yes. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Go out. Have some fun. You think someone is lying? Hmm. They are. All right? It don't say they probably are. What does it say? They are. Use your intuition. Laugh. 
Where the F is your sense of humor? You've been working so damn hard, you forgot what fun is like. Have fun. F, uh, ask an effing expert for those who have problems uh, with this transformation. Don't rely on your friends and the internet because your friends and family, remember, don't even want you to uh, do good. You understand? Go see some professional help. Talk to somebody who is uh, outside of the circle. You know what I mean? Uh, you're going through some tough shit. Yeah, this shit is hard. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. And that's what you have been doing. You've been handling it. But for some of you, yeah, it's uh, hard. The transition is hard. Change is hard because you were um, not happy, but you at least knew how to deal with what you had to work with. You were, you, you were familiar you understand? But remember, you're coming into strength. You're coming into power. You're coming into um, courage. You know, that's going to help you with these changes because you've put in a lot of work. You, you know, you have all that it takes. You have everything that it takes to be happy. All right. With yourself, not because of someone with yourself. All right. And once you do that, you'll be reminded of the fun of life. You'll have this magician come in. You're going to definitely uh, toss back and forth whether or not you'll indulge. This person is going to remind you about the fun in life. Just make sure you don't go right back to the bullshit in a different bowl. Okay? Friends, family not supporting you? That's okay. Because you left them when you left your partner. That's okay. Let it go. That's their own selfishness. It's not that they don't like you personally. Maybe they don't, but, um, more so they're, they're selfish and your separation is hindering something in their life. All right. But they ain't got nothing to do with you. That's not your burden nor your cross. You have your own situation. You have your own life to live. Enjoy it. Now on this sidebar with these Virgos and this friend of a friend clusterfuck, y'all better not. All right. Or somebody's watching you, maybe, um, and it's inappropriate, like one of your, <coughs> excuse me, one of your partner's friends, you know, might um, give you a text and you're going to look at your phone like, why are, you, why are they texting me and not you? You know what I mean? It might be one of your partner's friends. I'm not sure, but it don't smell good, but they're going to try and they get ready to try quickly. And believe it or not, they, they actually feeling you or you feeling somebody. I might have to do a bonus on that, but y'all can't take over this collective. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this love token. I all, always enjoy the love tokens because it's for the collective. It's for everybody. And remember, if it does not resonate, that means it's not yours. Leave it here. Don't take it with you. Okay. Um, I appreciate in advance, likes, shares, subscribes, comments, comments, comments. And remember, we're all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.